Hello, welcome to the Cutting Edge Knife Talk. Uh, this is part one of getting started with uh, knife making or somewhat how I got started. Uh, I'd like to first thank my uh, new subscribers, Katie Jo Johnson and Chatty Mail. And to anybody else out there who uh, watches my videos, uh, I appreciate uh, you giving them a look. But one of the first things I wanted to talk about or go over in my videos is uh, in my first video I talked about um, a bit about how I got started with making knives. Um, and one of the questions I guess would be is uh, why would someone uh, choose to make knives? And, uh, well, knives have been around a long time, uh, hundreds, thousands of years. Uh, they've been uh, a cutting tool and, yes, also uh, used in warfare. But, uh, and people have had to make these tools for others uh, for a very long time. So that would be one reason, like, you know, people still use cutting tools and use knives for all, all sorts of tasks. And uh, that's and not everybody makes knives. Not everybody, everyone wants to make a knife. Uh, so that's why you have to have somebody has to do it. And uh, so that's one of the reasons. Uh, doing it as a uh, learning a new trade for something to do in their spare time, uh, make a little extra money. Uh, some you know just for fun i enjoy making knives just for the fun of it myself and uh, i'm sure a lot of other people do uh, again knives are a great tool and uh, they always come in handy somewhere at some point in time for all kinds of reasons uh, gardening um, wood cr uh, bushcraft or woodcraft um, I mean, you name it. There are just so many uses for knives uh, in the kitchen, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, you don't need a lot to get started in making knives, but you do have to have some basic information that would help you to uh, further succeed rather than feeling like you're taking steps backwards and fighting that. Because uh, knife making is a little tough uh, to pick up on. But it, it's doable, and lots of people do it, men and women, and young young people do it too. Uh, I've seen quite a few really young people make some wonderful knives. So it's not impossible to do. Um, some of the tools you'll need, I'll mention right now in the video. And this is part one of this video. There'll be a part two of getting started. And uh, you'll need a, a hammer, file tongs, gloves, eye protection, leather apron, forge, anvil, and etc. There's a few things you'll need. I just mentioned a few of these things I'll go over in more depth in the second video. And uh, But some of the things that's most important is safety. Um, the leather apron I mentioned is, is for uh, leather is fire resistant or fire retardant. To a certain point um, so if you're grinding or cutting steel or doing anything and you're shooting sparks on yourself I've caught my clothes on fire more than once so uh, it gets interesting when you when you catch your clothes on fire <laughs> when you're trying to focus on something else and then all of a sudden it's like wow it's warm in here uh, and you're on fire so uh, it can get interesting um, eye protection is a big one uh, you need to be wearing uh, uh, some sort of eye protection. Um, it's a very good idea um, to protect your eyes because things will fly around sometimes. Uh, you'll get stuff flying around. You don't need it in your eyes. Um, gloves are useful. You don't cut or burn your hands. But uh, like I said, there's going to be a part two where I'm going to probably cover more safety. But I can't, I just can't preach enough about safety. I've got scars on my hands and all kinds of stuff. I mean, just, I've had some injuries from making knives. And uh, I've had some pretty bad cuts. And uh, so, 
no matter how safe you are, you're you're prone to getting some kind of little injury or something happens sometimes. Because knife making is a is a tough business, but it's it's dangerous. It can be dangerous. So the more you plan ahead, the better off you're going to be in your knife making adventures, and the safer you're going to be. But uh, again, I'm John with WM Cutlery, and uh, this is the Cutting Edge Knife Talk, and there will be a part two probably coming this Friday. Today's Monday, but coming this Friday, I'll be uh, doing another video and covering some more stuff. And, you know, hit that uh, subscribe button, click the notification bell so you get notified of new videos when they come up. Also, um, leave a like and a comment, and uh, that would just be awesome. Anything you think maybe you'd like me to mention in a video, please uh, leave a comment, and I'd be happy to uh, have a look at it. Thank you so much, and you all have a wonderful day, and be safe.